talk about shape. Yes. So as you may have heard, what she said was, if anyone clued in on that, he said, notice the SVG image at the top. So we've heard your feedback about supporting SVG in XAML, and as of the creator's update, we now support SVG uh, in XAML image element using the secure static mode of SVG. And so that, yeah. Yeah, baby. So by that applause, we know that that's not uh, the end game. Uh, <laughs> we know that people want more. And so uh, secure static mode is exactly kind of what it sounds like. So you can get great performance of rendering of SVG assets at scale, at whatever you need to display them at, and we continue to re-raster at, at the, uh, the, the best resolution. But we've heard that people want to be able to animate that as well. So one of the things that we're, and, and the static SVG looks great for iconography. We want to move that needle a little bit further and help that iconography come to life and be more playful. So we're investing and in looking at, in the future, at animatable vector graphics. So we've heard that feedback. Thank you. Popular feature. <laughs> so uh, the, the animatable but graphics is not just about iconography, though. These are, we, these are things that, that we think about in micro animations that bring very pers purposefulness uh, to animations and to some scenes that could be static in nature. So if you look at this exploration that we're doing around data visualization, we could certainly do a, a chart over time that someone clicks through and as the lines just kind of pop and move. But by using subtle micro animations, we're able to provide uh, you know, dare I say, even a playful aspect in this kind of enterprise type uh, data visualization here. And these are the type of situations that we're exploring now that we want to make sure we light up. Now it's important to, for us that we deliver these things at scale as well. We know that our system runs on devices as small as uh, IoT devices and as large as the Surface Hub machines and the new Xboxes with the, you know, high performance capabilities. So we need to be able to deliver uh, high performance in all of, these, all of these aspects. We're also cognizant that you guys are the creators, and we need to go where you are creating these animations and also support the frameworks that you're using to create them, like things like Lottie. Now, one of the things that we want to do is make sure that we have a great tooling story where people are creating uh, you know, th this type of art and this type of vector. So we're looking to work with existing vendors for creation tools much like Paul showed, and Paul and Bo showed, working with uh, Adobe XD and kind of the sticker sheets that are provided. We think of that partnership along with that ecosystem to be able to go where, where people are creating this type of UI. So you're gonna see these links throughout our deck. This is a, an area of future innovation, and we want your participation in kind of the feedback in this area. So feel free to go and help us and be, inform us on, on these type of investments today and how we should uh, go about them and help us learn from your scenarios as well.